Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2624, where we have 45 moves to clear out 52 jelly and reach 104,000 points. So we're going to use this area to try to construct specials to break through this area to get rid of the licorice bands and the chocolate, pop the popcorn, and access the UFO. But we have to do these in such a way as to not allow the chocolate to consume it. So it's going to be a bit tricky, but it's not terribly difficult to make the specials here we need. First, I'm just going to worry about taking out as much licorice as I can and try to, instead of trying to set something wonderful up. And then, once I've gotten that mostly done, I'll look for opportunities to concentrate some colors down. Like, I don't have a lot of blue or red on the board. If I could take out blue or red, I would. Well, I can't. Oh, well. But I'll keep looking for those opportunities until we get a concentration of colors that allows us to get some specials. Now, we do keep getting more licorice, but eventually we'll um, stay ahead of that. Ooh, here I'm going to drop this down and try to get a stripe. And really, wrapped candies are what I'm going to be going for on this board. Wrapped candies can be very helpful. Hmm. Wanted to try to hit that popcorn. Of course, once I start opening things, then the chocolate is going to grow. Uh, but that's okay. Eventually, we'll get ahead of that, too. Let's see if we can get another green to drop through. Not quite. I have a lot of green, though. Maybe I can concentrate them down. There we go. So now we've got the chocolate open, but the chocolate that was open has been eradicated. So we don't have to worry about that part. Uh, I'm going to open this chocolate, too. It has nowhere to grow. It can't get onto the conveyor belt. Gosh, I would love to make a color bomb here. I might have missed that opportunity. That might have been there. And I got so excited about using that that I uh, didn't pay attention. But I might be able to get it back. There we go. Okay, and of course, oh, I set off the UFO. Didn't mean to, but that's awesome because I didn't want it to get consumed by chocolate. So now it's safe and it's doing its work. It's going into areas where it needs to be. Now the chocolate can grow here, but I don't really care. Although I've got two color bombs. What if I take out all orange from the board? It would set that off, and it would also put this onto the conveyor, and um, I'm going to do it. I know I could make another special here, but concentrating the colors is probably a better way to make uh, specials that are going to actually help me. That orange one didn't seem to be you know, positioned well enough to help out. And this one is a little scary because it could blow this up. But if it does, it'll still take out a color, and color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. Let's see, what can I do? Nothing much. I would hope that having taken out a color, I would have more access to more specials, because there'd be a concentration. But that didn't happen. Oh, look at that. It didn't, but now it almost did. Shoot. Silly conveyor belt. Oh, well, color bombs beget color bombs. I really wanted that pairing, though. Okay, let's see what we can do. What if I take out all of one color? What if I take out all blue from the board? It's going to bring this down to the popcorn. Ooh, another potential color bomb opportunity. I'm going to nurse that one along and see what happens. Nope, because I just brought this through. Ah, it's not awful, though. The problem is that this is going to get swallowed. Can I do anything to take out a chocolate? No. See, that's the problem with this board, is that when that chocolate goes, oh. Well, now the chocolate can grow other places. So this hasn't been lost entirely. It might still be lost, but there's hope. 
I need to pair this with a special now. If I take this out, then I'm in trouble. So I want to preserve that so the chocolate has some place other than here to grow. I'm trying to wait until I can get over to this green. And now what I want to do is maybe make some more green on the board. Get rid of the stuff that isn't green so that I've got a better opportunity to use this. Kind of want to do that, to take that out, but I don't want to trigger anything that could be detrimental. Oh, well, that's going to turn into a stripe now. But well worth it, because now I should be able to get to this UFO, maybe? Yes. Unfortunately, pairing these guys up doesn't do anything special or different. Which is a shame. I think it should. Anyway, this is going to go to areas where it's needed, and it's needed here and here. And hopefully, we've got enough to take everything out or close to it. So 10 moves, 1 jelly left. So now I just need to construct, oh, here we go. I don't have to construct anything. There we go. So that's it. It was my first playthrough for recording purposes. This is evidenced by the fact that I'm collecting sugar drops. I thought this was a fun one. Well, I beat it on the first try, so of course. But even just looking at it before I started, it looked like it was going to give me an opportunity to use sk some skill instead of luck only. And the skill comes in really trying to set up those uh, specials. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.